I heard about ion pumps and I thought I should um, try pumping a vacuum using a Tesla coil because if you put high voltage and plasma in a vacuum up against metal the um, high speed gas molecules are supposed to go inside the metal so you get um, a vacuum as, as the gas is all scavenged up so I have an aluminum disc and a um, mirror that I made contact with the um, metal of the mirror. So I have two metal plates with glass between. Then I took um, some microscope slides, I cut it up by uh, scratching it with a Dremel tool diamond wheel. So we have microscope slides as a spacer. And um, I have a little little piece of tubing so if I put a drop of ink in there and a um, vacuum gets pumped, the ink will move along. So I have an aluminum plate and then another aluminum plate and a spacer. And I'm going to cover it up with um, epoxy and then zap it with a Tesla coil. Okay, now my five minute epoxy has hardened and um, I'm going to try putting high voltage on this thing with some um, ink. Here is, let's see, macro focus. There we go. Here's my mirror with my metal plate and my little plastic tube running into the air gap that's um, between the aluminum and the, the glass. And I cleaned off a spot on the back of the mirror and painted a little, or cleaned the paint off for electrical contact, painted a little silver ink on there to make sure it makes contact. And we'll ground it with a ground wire. Turn off the macro. There we go. And I'm going to put a little ink in water so we have something black but not so um, permanent. And let's see what this actually does. Maybe I should put it back in macro again here. There we go. And can I do the camera and the Tesla coil at the same time? I don't know. Maybe not. Hmm. Here we go. Tesla coil. Making contact to the metal plate. Nope, this isn't going to work. <sighs> okay, now I figured it out. I have a little pool of ink with my little Teflon uh, capillary running to it, taped to hold it in position. And ground wire leading to the metal on the back of the mirror floating metal plate with a little air gap the thickness of a um, microscope slide in there and now I'm going to apply Tesla coil high voltage to the aluminum plate um, I think it'll probably get hot so it'll probably make bubbles but if I'm right the plasma should um, start turning the gas, um, driving the gas into the metal, maybe turning it into solid nitrides, oxides. So here we go. Tesla coil fire. And let's see what happens. Holy crap! Look at that! It didn't get hot. It's sucking the ink right up the tube. It works, it works, it works, it works. <laughs> oh, it's still going. Maybe I need to um, heat it up to drive the ink back out before I fill my little cavity full of um, India ink. Pretty cool, eh?